Author Author presents Back and Forth with Nez and Sven, a program of writing rants and rebuttals. Talent simply means having extraordinary skills in anything. Talent in the art means you create something that resonates with others. Some people say that talent is when a very large number of people validate the skills you show in your craft. Talent is subjective, but in order to be good at anything, you have to have the skills to pull it off. For a writer, this means you have to know how to structure a plot. You have to know how to build three-dimensional characters. You have to know how to start and end your manuscript. And as for the fundamentals, you need to know spelling and grammar. You need to know how to edit. You need to know how to take criticism with a plum. Know when to show and not tell. Know when something is working and when it's not. Once you become a good storyteller, it really comes down to finding your audience. You could be the most talented storyteller in the world and not have an audience. But keep plugging, have faith, because if you're that good of a storyteller, you will find one. Trust me. Talent. I mean, come on. Talk about the most subjective topic you can talk about here. I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, this is a story for you. When I worked in the studio system, I had an executive call me into her office and tell me we had to make more viral videos. Then she proceeded to show me examples on YouTube. I mean, I had to laugh. I mean, you know what? If studios and publishers knew the formula of why the public goes crazy for a certain item, then they would be billionaires. There would never be a flop. I mean, come on, think of the logic in this. Okay, come on. Popularity is fickle and based on the many factors pulling on society at any given time. So uh, what does this mean for you? Publishers and studios follow trends. When something blows up, the push as much content into that demand until it's saturated and the public needs something new to take its place. This has nothing to do with talent and everything to do with meeting supply and demand. This is basic economics. Really, this is what it's all about. So don't mix talent with success. It's got nothing to do. They don't equate. Yeah, you can be talented and be successful. You cannot be talented and be successful. Success as far as monetary terms and the way we define it has got nothing to do with talent. I'm sorry, it just doesn't, okay? Whatever. So anyway, think about this. There's a select club waking in the publishing industry that act as gatekeepers between the writer and the potential audience. They have their focus groups and they watch the trends and they know, okay, how to play it safe. Okay, here we go. Real talent is in your ability to sell yourself. Now, follow me here, because this is what it's all about, man. This is the spine of my argument here. Those who can walk into a room and own it, those who can lie with confidence, those who can sell shoes to foot amputees, they are the ones who get monetarily rewarded for what they are doing. They are the ones who get the best jobs, direct movies, become politicians, and yeah, sell their manuscripts. If you're a fantastic storyteller, but you don't have the skills to bullshit your way out of a hostage crisis, then you will never make a dime at this. There's no point in trying. You gotta have the goods, okay? I'm sorry. Because there's so many talented people out there, but you gotta be good at your craft, and you gotta be good at selling. In fact, really, honestly, the world rewards salespeople. I mean, that's what it is, that's what it is. Marketing, you can call it a marketing person, you can call it whatever you want to, someone who knows how to network. It, oh, that's basically just boils down to sales. That's what we're talking about here, okay, come on. All right, wait, talent is subjective, but getting noticed when there are billions of websites, tweets, Instagram posts, YouTube videos, and all kinds of media buckets. It's impossible. It's a signal to noise ratio and never in the history of the human race has there been so much static to bury your signal. So keep believing if you build it, they will come. Talent will always find an audience and karma will always be working in your favor. I can think of hundreds of real world rebuttals to that argument. If you wanna live as a rube, then guess what? I got beachfront property to sell you in the Sahara Desert. Peace out.
Yeah, so, um, Nebs would make a great motivational speaker, wouldn't he? Hmm, yeah. Hey, why don't you tell us what you think? I don't care what he says. I want to know what you say. <laughs>